listeners and podcast enjoys to the fifth episode of the podcast band the podcast where the host that is me roman also known as the arman will ramble about things that either have happened or will happen and well let's begin with the biggest thing that has happened recently like very recently but for that let's go back to a, a while ago let's say to August 19th 2023 at around 5.45 p.m. Central European Standard Time I was just editing a nice video for my YouTube channel, youtube.com.com slash at the underscore Armin. And thought nothing, else, nothing much, just editing like I always do. Until then suddenly OBS said, hey, Roman, I want to reconnect you to the stream, okay? I thought, okay. Oh, five seconds passed. Sorry, Roman, but um, we couldn't reconnect you to the stream. We will try again in a few seconds, okay? Okay, that is not good. Maybe my internet is at fault here. I checked my internet. Internet was fine. Okay, what is then the reason? I then looked my left where my twitch chat is hanging and something very daunting came up because the chat was empty completely empty like there was nothing more there normally is something there but when that uh, re reconnect happened the only message that was standing there was 
something along the lines of this channel has been suspended because of violating the community guidelines. You can probably imagine what I felt when that when I read this. But in short, it was a little panic mode. I looked at my mails and saw the mail. Hey, Roman, here's, here's Twitch. We saw that you have some, that something suspicious ha was happening on your account. Mostly you, you wrote a bunch of people with a whisper, which is just DMs on Twitch, which is first of why does this exist? <clears throat> anyway. And you sent a bunch of the same message with a link wind that they should use the code blah blah blah. So, just in case we care about our community, <coughs> we decided to suspend your account, okay? But don't worry, you can appeal it. Just send, well, an appeal to us and we look further into it, okay? So, I sent an appeal. I also informed everyone via social media that my account got is currently unavailable because of, well, just guess. And, yeah, I thought it was it. Everything was somewhat dandy. Well... It was dandy also. I mean, I didn't thought of hmm, if my appeal got rejected, then I probably would go to YouTube and stream from there on. I mean, currently the only streams I will I do is actually happening on Sundays for Alex Day, and every other stream is hosted by Veronica, my my AI. So maybe I figure something out with her. With her. Well, about four to five hours later, well, actually five hours, I think, I looked at the appeal site that I still had open, refreshed it, and I had to log in. Okay, sure, just log in. Um, sorry, Roman, but um, there you need to reset your password. Wait, what? I need to. Okay, why? I looked into my emails and saw, oh, my appeal got approved. Noise. So I reset it. I reset my password, removed every connection that was connected to my account, and connected mostly everything. Not every, not really everything, but the stuff that I currently use. And what? Yeah, that's it. That's fine. End of story. Pants <laughs> push from the radar was. Days later. It was August 29th, 2023. I was editing a video, but nothing of it. Just editing a video for someone. And not say for who and why yet and then I just wanted to look into a tab that I opened on my browser and saw huh wait a minute why is the tab that I normally have open for all the people I follow that are currently live why does it say I have to log in Well, I then looked into my mails. And what would I saw here? Hello, the Armin. Here is Twitch. We're committed to keeping our community safe for everyone. And as a blah, 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 abides by Twitch terms of service and community guidelines, blah, blah, blah. Due to the severe real nature of this violation or the fact that you have incurred multiple violations, your access to Twitch services is indefinitely restricted. 
The reason? Bought it or automated account. Where it happened? In public or private messages. And how long is the suspension? Indefinitely. You can of course I can of course appeal it. Which I did. And well. Well. I did send an appeal. I think I just said it around. <clears throat> I of course informed everybody on social media that well, my Twitch channel is suspended currently. And well, 24 hours later, I looked at the appeals page, refreshed it, I had to log in. Hey, Roman, you need to change your password. Okay, interesting. Looked into my mails. Oh, my appeal got approved. Good. So change the password, but this time not, not just, just have it randomly generated with 12 characters. Oh, no, no, no. No, no, no. We don't want the title. Oh. So, let's crack get a little bit up. Like, um, to, from, well, 12 characters to funny six, funny number characters. And it, and it, it got and to sit, hmm, yeah, yeah, yeah that, that's good, that's good, that take, be taken. Good. Of course, again, randomly generated. With lowercase num letters, uppercase num letters. Why do I want to say numbers? Of course, numbers two. Special characters also. And, yeah. It is long. Like. Luckily, I use a password manager, so yeah, it's good. Also, it's not one of that has been on for being hacked. But yeah, after I changed my password, I looked into my connections, removed everything, literally everything. Even uh, pressed the button where, where I get signed out everywhere except for the current session that I'm in. And well, the only things connected were my YouTube channel, or well, my archive YouTube channel. Then my chatbot, stream elements, OBS. And well, a few other things that I actually need to use, not as a website that for example, gives you an AI text-to-speech voice or that can give you good analytics to your streams, which sounds nice. However, it, this is not good. Also, I want to say that I could have, of course, do something else, doing that during those two suspensions, like creating a new account. Yeah, problem if you do create a new account, you're black this evading suspension. And if Twitch actually noticed it, maybe or not, I don't know. Well, the appeal could get rejected and that's no good. Especially someone like me. So, yeah, I mean, I could use my R bot account for, well, boom, talking to others on streams, but I decided not to because, yeah, it it is better to not have that. And uh, well, this. It is good. It's good. And wow. Well, I have also now made the fact that if this happens a third time, you know what will happen? I'll move 
really to YouTube, stream only on there. I will send an appeal to Twitch, of course. And if it gets approved, of course, then I basically remove everything on my page and just have one panel that says, hey, you want to watch my streams? Then check out my YouTube channel. I will be streaming on there because I will not touch my Twitch account forever. Unless I want to watch somebody that I'll actually enjoy watching. I want to talk to them. That is the only time. But 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 everything else just on my YouTube. <coughs> and uh, yeah, that is the biggest thing that has happened the last two weeks. And oh boy. Again, if happens again, then I go to YouTube. If not, then I'm happy. Because, well, the reason for that is simply, which is, well, very, is pretty much infamous, I think is the word, for helping the, their smaller creators. Or they'll like off. And, well, yeah, that is the reason. Because even it, it was just one day, but who knows? Maybe it will be one week, maybe even a month next time, or even a year. I don't know. And, well, nobody really knows. Which I personally... I have talked this a little bit uh, before, but currently there's a content creator union forming that has some plans, of course, but I hope in the future that they, that we together can well, have something that, for example, Twitch has there, I don't, I don't, I don't know the right words now. So that if something like this happens to anyone else, then it that Twitch will have to oh, go the same speed like they do with bigger creators, because hey, even the smaller creators need protection from. Or well, safety or security or I don't don't know the right words for this. Of course, if here's also a little tip: for if you if you want to be a content creator or well streamer, then it's good to be on other platforms, just in case. Yes, other platforms can give you more discoverability. Or no. In case of suspension, you can just then just stream on another platform. But yeah, that is the biggest thing that I wanted to talk, that I wanted to talk this. Ep this was the first topic that I wanted to talk about in this episode of the podcast man. And I will talk, say the name like this because I like it. I mean, the podcast man, it sounds a bit, a bit lame, but the podcast, <coughs> sorry, the podcast, the podcast man, that just, just, just sounds funny. Oh yeah, now to the other topics that I have actually had planned to talk about, because, well, um, the first thing actually of the well, that bigger thing is actually has to do actually with my YouTube channel because oh boy, currently all the videos of me singing songs from my birthday karaoke stream, which happened last week on August 23rd. Which is also my birthday. Just think. 
and well it, 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 people enjoy for some reason those covers especially that belief in myself cover which a little side note here that I also said a thing I don't know but I sung the Sonic Adventure 1 version of this song not the Sonic Adventure 2 version because I don't really enjoy that one I like the Sonic Adventure 1 more because, well, I kind of grew up with Sonic Adventure 1. Which sounds weird because actually I played Sonic Adventure DX, or well, the Erector's Cut. Which is basically a remaster of Sonic Adventure, but for, well, PC. And I grew up with that version, not the original for the Dreamcast, because when I was born, it just came out <laughs> and I don't think it also wants to play Sonic Adventure <laughs> unless hmm but yeah but those and well today or well on the day where this is this episode is recorded by the way it is also live on my twitch twitch.tv slash the if it still exists again Hopefully there will not be a effort a suspension happening in the near future. Yeah. Today too the two last songs have been released on my YouTube channel, which is just both version of the song I'm just a memer. The first one being from DJ Carl the Dog, the original, I as I said. And then the remix by Coaster and Sorryway, which is a bit better in my opinion. I mean, it has nice. Uh, before the last chorus, it's a nice guitar solo by Sorryway and mm, beautiful. And yeah, especially when I sung the song, and I kept that in the video too. I said, as every, just as, just like memes, things sometimes, no, never wait long. I said something along the lines of, the next song is funny enough like memes. Sometimes memes are unique, but most of the time they just repeat themselves. And then it just started. And uh, yeah, that is technically just the last song that I sung during my breath day karaoke. However, tomorrow is going to be terrible. <laughs> it is going to be so terrible. If you have missed that stream, then... Well... You have missed something. No, I mean, you could, of course, rewatch it on my Twitch VOD archive channel, youtube.com slash the underscore archive. But the best version is, of course, if you watch it on my YouTube channel, because that is well released tomorrow. Oh, well, to be more precise, on September 1st, 12 p.m. Central European Standard Time, which means the time when this is actually available is actually that it actually is already also uploaded uh, or well published so uh, yeah and if, if you have to listen to it go listen to it it is good <coughs> but yeah I just also noticed that so somehow I, I made this whole week nearly all the videos on my YouTube channel that have been released this week were from the same stream. I, and then I say nearly because yesterday on Wednesday the highlight video of me playing the Honkai Star Rail 1.2 update which I still haven't finished actually because I still need to live in Vantalia. But yeah, um, that is the that is the only video that has not well 
that is not from the same stream. Everything else from the same stream. Especially the one that is uh, that is published on sep on September 2nd, 12 p.m. Central European Standard Time. Because that is the highlight video of my redebut. Because, oh surprise, I have a new model. New video model. And he's looking fine. Okay, there, there's, there, there, there's a few tiny, tiny little nitpicks of mine, but that's okay, that's okay. <laughs> that's, that's just a tiny bit. But yeah, it is, it is, it is noise, it is noise. And I highly encourage you, when it's released, gonna, you, ha you should watch it because, oh! The story is good, and I and I don't need to mention that I had to actually re-upload this in secret because I accidentally made a specific part not the, the way that I actually wanted and just didn't notice it until I exported the video and deleted the pro the project in Netflix. <clears throat> But yeah, I can also talk a little bit about my upload schedule because, oh boy, it is a, it's a lot. <laughs> because, well, do you want to know when the, when the last video is going to be released? Like, actually the last video that is currently uploaded onto my YouTube channel. It has been edited, exported, and so on. Well, that final last video is going to be released on the 24th of January 2024. Which is somehow ironic, I just, I find out. Oh, January. Oh, next year begins the first. Hmm. Noise. But yeah, I have already so many videos edited that I can have literally just. I can just edit nothing for the next months. And well, start editing then in. Let's say November. Maybe December. Like, oh boy, <laughs> editing multiple videos in one editing stream is, is something. And it's actually nice. And especially if this also works with Lightworks, because Lightworks has recently a few problems. Like, oh, you want to edit this, this video? Of course, yes, let me just... This, uh, this silence for me is just... Lightworks just froze up. <laughs> because... Yeah. And, well... Luckily, again, I've said this multiple times. Times. One good thing of Lightworks is that it auto-saves. Meaning, even if it somehow crashes during the freezes, don't worry, don't worry. All your stuff is still there. Everything that you have edited, all your videos, everything in this in that project or even every other project is still there. And uh, yeah. Also, if you wonder how it looks like, just 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 watch one of my editing streams. Or well, show me when I edit a video. All of them are well on my Twitch. If. I think you could, could guess what I just want to say, what I wanted to say there, right? <coughs> oh yeah. One few videos that I've actually recently uploaded on there are actually some new supercuts. Which, if you have no idea, it's just basically a all videos of a playthrough just, just in one video. 
so that after for example many months after you after that series has ended you have one whole video where you can just basically just watch everything again like you know how it it ends but you have completely forgotten how it begins because the beginning is many months ago and uh, yeah and well the supercuts they are kind of special because mostly they released on dates that kind of have a significant meaning like for example the, f the next supercut is from hello charlotte episode one and it's going to be released on October 8th, 20, no, 2023. Why on October 8th? Because on October 8th, 2022, I have actually started. Well, I actually played episode one of Hello Charlotte, but I started playing the whole Hello Charlotte series, which at the time of when this is going to be released is going to be a bit weird because then literally three days later hello charlotte a new episode 2 part is going to be released and because well at the beginning of december hello charlotte episode 2 will end i have decided also oh, wait uh, Wait a moment. Hold on. Why is November twenty ninth? Oh okay, I get it. Okay, never mind. I I got it. What the what was missing there? <clears throat> Long Frontiers Part Ten. But yeah, um. The final Hello Charlotte episode 2 part is going to be released on December 13th. And wow, because episode, because the first part of episode 2 is released. I, I just, I'm just checking, okay, yeah. It's released on June 28th. Oh, what the? In 28th? Oh, my videos. My God. June 28th. First, ep first part of Hello Charlotte episode one at uh, two. <clears throat> the final part of Hello Charlotte episode one, May 3rd. In between, we have Honkai Star Rail, the first, the beginning, then VTuber Connect, part one. The Honkai Star Rail meme, which is just sits around 19,000 views. Okay. The Fantasy Star Online 2, New Genesis, chapter five. Sonic Frontiers Part 4. Should be. Yeah, Sonic Frontiers Part 4. <coughs> um, Our Force Members Count 2023. Mad Father Part 4. RTC Part 10. Or number 10. And then we have Hello Child Episode 2 Part 1. My God, it is. But yeah, because of well, that got a re refresher. Let's say, um, on Christmas Day there will be a supercut of Hello Charlotte episode two. And you know why it's Christmas Day? Well, because funny enough, and this is actually no joke. <laughs> The Hello Charlotte episode 1 supercut, which comes out, well, October 8th, is technically the next Hello Charlotte video after it was released that 
Well, I don't want to spoil it now. You will have to see till September 20th, 2023. 12 p.m. Central European Standard Time. Because... Uh, or you could just uh, actually just watch the whole stream on my archive channel of episode 2. You you will then know the... The... Um, the... The price there. Of someone being... Something that has somehow to do with Christmas. I say only... He only goes to bed, children. So... Yeah, that is that is my connection for this. But her oh boy, the next episode, the next Hello Charlotte Supercuts are going to be interesting because it's going to be episode three, which I think will be will be released somewhere in the middle of next year. I think I can promise that. And then we have also Hello Charlotte. Uh, Heaven's Gate, which is oh boy, this is going to be a fish because Heaven's Gate is a visual novel, and you know what's to what's beautiful on this visual novel? I will have to demonstrate it to you. You start the game. Of course, I could uh, now continue this with the exact length of how how long I have played this game. But yeah, the whole vision of it was just silent, no sounds, no ambience, no sound effects. When you go, go to a menu point or a choice, which actually actually there is no choices, or any ambience, there's that, which. If you watched that stream where I played it, in the beginning when I played Heaven's Gate, I said directly to me who's going to edit this editing Roman, please insert any sounds or music that fits the current scene because, well, there was nothing. And this is no joke. You can look into the files Papa, real quick there you are so, call it heaven's gate and um, let's go oh no this is everything from, from yep that is everything from the game folder and i see cash the GUI, all the images that pops up, the saves that I have. I have no idea what TL is. Then we have um, all the scripts that are necessary, beginning with, I have no idea what it is, custom, I don't know. Diary, diary, UI, options, screen, script version not txt and then the phone file if you look at the files of the dlc you see at least something with well audio <clears throat> which if you don't know contains every kind of music like oh you hear your reality that is part of the audio script or well, actually the audio package because it's actually the script and the uh, and all and the folder that contains all the audio. <clears throat> but yeah, Heaven's Gate has no music at all, no sound effects, nothing, and therefore it's going to be a bitch to edit. <laughs> but yeah, I hope that I can then. At the end of Heaven's Gate, I can release the supercut of it. Hopefully around... Well... Beginning in 2025? 
hopefully. Because, because why? Because I want to release a mega Hello Charlotte cut, which will be uh, basically all the super cuts of all Hello Charlotte super cuts just be in the one <laughs> own super cut. And well. Hopefully it was it is going to be good. Because and oh of course not so long because um YouTube only accepts videos that are that are either under two hundred and fifty six gigabytes big or under twelve hours. Like So if I somehow also my page just surprised me did, did I actually have played Hello Charlotte tw about twelve hours long? I need to look it up. <clears throat> so um, but ba 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 ba. I will also only count. Theoretically, how many hours? So we have about two and a half hours for episode one, plus four hours for episode two, plus three and a half for episode three, three and a half for episode three. Um, three and a half for. Okay, around seventeen hours. Around seventeen hours for all the dreams bushed together. Well, I hope I have I have removed at least five hours. <laughs> Uh, I'm actually worried about, well, Heaven Skate, because most of the time it will be just, I just ro just Roman reading the whole, uh, the whole text. Maybe removing all the mispronunciations. Also, I need to think of what kind of music I put in because it is very important. Especially, I need to make the music so long. How important? Just if I make any of the use any music, I just put it into something and just say, "Hey, yo, could you make this um from currently into three minutes to uh, let's say thirty minutes." And I have a mail to do it. Know how to do it. And it doesn't cost me anything. <clears throat> but yeah, it will be. <laughs> it will be. <laughs> and of course, videos again themselves will be very interesting. But yeah, um, thing else, I mean, I mean, and I like the schedule now, and, oh yeah, right, I just remembered something, something that I wanted to say, to talk about actually, but, um, my wonderful editing program just ruined it because during the editing stream of VTuber Connect part 9 uh, well also um, wait a moment a little bit because um, I know she's a bit stuffy so uh, yeah wait a moment
So, everything's good again. Um, yeah, um, Beautiful Connect to uh, Part 9. Couldn't talk about this because, well, the, the things that I wanted to talk about, it faded to what is happening in that video or what starts actually in that video from, um, and well, basically everything from the last VTuber Connect stream. Yes, there's something that recently happened that I would, that I wanted to talk about. But yeah, that looks so, nope. So I'm gonna talk about this here because something interesting happened in the VTuber world recently. Oh, well. Uh, actually, last Saturday for me, which is where the editing stream happened, by the way. <laughs> because, well, one known VTuber decided to take a little hiatus after her fans decided to just a bit, just, just, uh, Hmm, how to say it in a good way? Uh, critique her... I have no really shit forgot the word. It is, she decided onto it, but it's not really a decision, it's not the word decision, it's something else. I don't know. Oh yeah, her decision on collabing with and I dare to say it. Pale VTubers. You know, those, those, those are very nasty, you know. I can, I can, I can, okay, you don't see my face, but I can keep a straight face saying this because, hey, I'm also a pale VTuber. Did you know that? Or, There's no or. My brain was good for for a short, for a very short second. Wanted to say or, blah, 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 blah. but then I remembered. Oh, it's better to not continue that sentence. So, yeah. Yeah. Uh, of course, this is could be the hiatus of her. It could be because of that. Of that, of her decision to collab with male VTubers, it could be also something else. Nobody really knows that. Only her. And if you wonder who I'm talking about, it is um, well, let's let's say in a good way. Let's say the the name Mickey Nickel, which has an interesting past. Let's just say that, because if you know. You know, if you don't, well, at, at one point you will stumble upon it. So, yeah, I will not. I'm. I will not be that point. Okay, but yeah. And also, if you wonder why those, well, fans were so upset about her collabing with male VTubers, even though it was actually part of an Apex tournament, but the tournament or her. Team God, oh, got rejected into the tournament. Turn, tournament, so she decided to just have a normal stream with her male VTuber partners that she had in that in that team. <clears throat> well, the reason is Mikaneko provides something that is called an experience, a to be more precise, girlfriend experience, which if you have no idea what this in actually means, it just means that she will be your girlfriend. Thus, and she's also that kind that if if you say anything along the lines of you watch some other female streamers, which was doesn't matter, she will get angry. She will get very angry. <laughs> For some reason, my mind also just wanted to make a joke. But it had forgotten the joke. 
I mean, the joke would would have really fun. Flat. Or Pitan. Ahem! 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 Okay. There is mode. In a way. Now. Again. Ahem. Yeah. She provides this governing experience for her viewers. But, of course, those very enthusiastic viewers are uh, then, of course, the upset ones when Mika Neko decided to, well, collab with male VTubers. Because <gasps> I'm not allowed to cheat, but you are allowed to cheat. That is not fair. Which, yeah. But at the same time, you would cheat. It, uh, it is um, kind of a weird thing here because yeah I am someone who hates double standards like oh yeah you're not I'm not allowed to do this thing but you are allowed to do this thing because of unknown reasons that actually doesn't make don't make any sense however if it's a VTuber collapse with another VTuber from the opposite sex, then that is okay. And especially with people who, have, who provide an experience, because let's face it, experience or not, it shouldn't be always be an experience. Like for example, I also provide an ex an experience in a way. Born it on October 28th. <laughs> Did I say something? Anyway. I also provide some kind of experience, but it's not always the experience. It's sometimes the experience, but not always. Most of the time there is, of course, some breaks and other stuff. And those are mostly just, well, what is actually happening. Like, for example, now. Basically, this is now a break between this, between my experience. And, um, yeah, a break in something like that is nice. And a VTuber or content creator can have and decide what they do on this break maybe go on to, on to take a little walk maybe have a little just get away from social media and just well enjoy nature for a while or just call up off the with a content creator from the opposite sex it is that is for me Personally, it is fine. But yeah. Another thing also that also happened. Literally. Last week. And I wanted to talk about this on Saturday. Is the graduation of the whole Southern members. Magni Desmond and Noir Whisper. Two of actually the good boys in my opinion. I mean especially because Whisper's. 2.0 model. One point, one point oh model. Yeah, Grandpa. 2.0 model. Oh, hello. I will not. I will not continue this. And there's a clip of me saying this uh, somewhere on the internet. Maybe in a video. But you could imagine what it is. But yeah. The last thing they posted were about in something in somewhere in July. And then they went on hiatus. No one know why. No one know which, what, what, what's the reason and how long it will be. And then, well... Cover Corporation just hit everyone with a yeah, um you know Noir Whisper and Magni Desmond 
Yeah, you know those two, those those good boys, those 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 good good boys. Yeah, we are sorry, but they have said it to graduate. <laughs> on this day, <laughs> on this exact day, and of course, they will not provide any content in the mean during this time because, well. Uh, so, no special stream to say goodbye to their fans or any any kind of a oh yeah we're sorry that we went on a hiatus but sadly it will this will be also the last time we will interact in any way so we're sorry wish you goodbye wish you goodbye to some way in my right now um <clears throat> anyway. And well, I I don't know what to say. The only thing I will say that I wish both of them, hopefully that they have some a nice new path. I don't know. I don't know the right words. I want to convey that. Whatever they will take, whatever path they will take, either as different VTubers or as normal, or, or how some people sometimes call it, and I hate to say it, flesh tube. Which, if you have no idea, it's just basically someone with a face with a normal face cap. Or well, maybe not even content creators. Maybe they will do something else. But yeah, I wish them just good luck and. Hopefully they have fun in that on that new path. And funny enough, all of that were somehow condensed into one specific video of a specific content creator that I would like to say the name, but <coughs> it is a bit sad if you if you know who I'm talking about, because then you probably go Oh well, most of the people on Twitter will go after me for reasons, specific reasons that will not be said right now. But yeah, I watched that video of that content creator talking about those two things, Mika Negosiades and Magni the Desmond and Vesper's Federation. But one quote from him from them from her from them on the beginning on the in the beginning of that video was this is the year of hiatuses and graduations and at first when I heard this I thought nah that's that's not true but then the next second I thought I thought immediately of someone like someone I knew who Kinda did a rebranding this year, but after some months decided to well graduate. And well yeah, I just said, you know what? You're right. Especially with the hiatus, hiatus because hey, who decided to hey to took an unannounced hiatus? Hmm? Who did this? Who did, who is that little male VTuber who did this? Oh, it's the Armin. Oh. I just tell you this in this way. It was, it's just, it was my brain's idea right now for some reason. But yeah. Also talking about this great of that uh, specific crash with the but that I knew. Well, I don't want to tell, tell them something, a few things privately, but I just wait. I just wait. Because, well, some things are still on my mind about them. And I would like to tell them that. Especially, especially because of one specific thing 
But yeah, I don't want to tell them it. Tell them that right away. Because, well, I just wait till their new project, I think, gets revealed. Which I have some speculations who it could be. I could be wrong though. I I just want to point it out right away. I could be wrong that whoever I think is their new VTuber would be completely wrong. I mean the only logical thing is Oh some one actually two things. And I think it could be them. But yeah, two things. At least five. At least five things makes the speculation to him maybe well true truth or well instead of the or three additional things we just have one one big thing which well currently hasn't happened yet so i'm waiting on that but yeah when they have read this thing I just want to say that I hope they have good luck with it. Hopefully not get the same kind of things that happened with their old one. They graduated. And also, the moment when we get the call up together, because at one point it would happen. It, or it could actually, it could happen. At one one point, I could uh, could have a call up with the new Mitchell persona. Could it, it doesn't mean it will happen. But if this if it if it does, let me just tell you one thing. I will the first thing I will say is, hey, could I talk to you, to you in private? And well, then. I will do that. There, 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 and I will talk to them in private. And yeah, but again, I hope they're fun in their new way as their new VTuber persona or model. Don't know. And have hopefully a better past than the well, the past one. And, uh, yeah. Funny enough, this is the only things that I can think of right now. Actually, that I've actually prepared to talk about. Actually, I could talk about this one thing that I kind of teased. Because, well, if you haven't known... I actually provide commissions for editing videos and well somebody recently wrote me and asked me if I can be well work for them because they said in a way that hey uh, hey could you could you literally be replace your current work with 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 being my editor, which, well, well, I do, I would currently not do this. It's not for considering the, the size of um, that, because if I would really say, okay, if I really am now under your, really work as your video editor, and we need some, well, some groundwork. One thing is, of course, the pay. Which, if my current rate is much lower than I get actually by getting paid by my current work. That's only... Yeah, but it's better. Getting around... Uh, about... Oh, 1,000 bucks per month. Or just... Maybe 10, 20, 30 euros per month. Without, without taxes, of course, without taxes. 
Why did my bike can go back to the state of Texas? Tax. The tax. Well, I would I would greatly take the 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 bigger pay there because first of the tax has been already is already gone. So I, if they say I get the over one thousand, I get over one thousand. Tax is already paid. The only thing is, of course, the rent and all the other, all the, all the other stuff. But tax, no problem. It's already gone. It's already removed from the Samuni. Which is also, again, one lucky thing to live in Europe because, or well, in Austria. Because, again, if you get paid... You don't have to worry about the not paying your ta your tax because uh, it it is getting already paid. Well, well removed from you from your pay. So what you get is what you get. Then you have to pay all your bills and rent and so on. So it's all state. But yeah, and um. Yeah, currently they, there has been only one video uploaded to their YouTube channel, which is actually the one where the suspension happened this week. And not gonna lie, it was the first time I have to edit a reaction. Like, no joke, this is literally the first time I have really edited and someone reacting to a video also it's also nice to have the thought that hey you can you can decide and this is this is now a tip for any content creator if you use obs you can say hey obs don't don't, don't record just one track record multiple tracks like i don't know one that I has that only contains my voice, one that contains the games audio, the videos audio, something else's audio. No, don't matter. Don't don't, don't don't know really, but just keep it separated. And yeah, as somebody who has actually to edit those videos, it's really good to have it separated because. Hey, maybe something in, in while you talk is kind of distracting of what is actually happening in the video or in the game. Like you talk or suddenly your roommate comes in while currently a cutscene is playing that you can't skip or don't want to skip actually. You of course hear it. The chat maybe hears it. But the recording, if you have it all in one track. Yeah. Oh, no. In separate tracks, okay, just remove the audio from you and just just have the day have the game just just the cutscene. So everyone who wants to who just wants to view this cutscene without well any without the roommate talking about stuff that is actually not interesting. Hmm. And uh, yeah. Also, funny enough that I also stream on the site that I actually also have an account that I could use when the Twitch channel gets suspended again. But uh, other security reasons I decided to not do. Simply because it has not very good um, ah, brain. The reputation is um, kind of a mix between. Oh, it is very good, and oh, just, 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 just don't, no, don't go in there. Oh, of course, not say the name, just in case, because hmm, if you know, you know. If you don't, it's better to not say it. Oh boy, I just noticed something. Uh, I will do this later. I will do this later. 
But yeah, um, they have also provided me a new video to edit. However, I am, I am uh, uh, brain. Brain not working currently for some reason. Why is brain not working? Uh, hmm. I have, I have really forgotten what to do, what to say now. Yeah, they have provided me a new video to edit, and I will get to it at one point. I don't know when, though. So, because I have. Well, I have no idea what to do now, so yeah, and uh, yeah, that is actually, hmm. I have really no, no idea what to say now. Hmm. Mm. What could I say? Hmm. Uh, brain really not idea. No idea, really. It is very good to, to do this, really. Hmm. I, ah, I have really... I have really no idea. And... Yeah. Uh, do you have any idea what I could talk about? Like I have really no idea what to do. I could just sit here. I guess, well, it's been a nice, uh, nice little time again with, well, the Twitch channel being back and so on. I think it's a good, a good way to end it here, this episode. So, of course, if you enjoyed this episode of the podcast I had, then you can always follow me on all the social medias that are available on the sites. Wherever you watch, listen to this, or even watch this on my, if you watch this on my YouTube channel, then you can just well subscribe to my YouTube channel, watch some videos, maybe also do some other things on there. I don't know, whatever you're, what you're currently like, and of course for more stuff, you can always follow me for on Mastodon at on vt social slash at the armen written together like on my twitch channel twitch.tv slash the armen and yeah i have really nothing else more to say So, of course, if you, if you, if you're currently in the live chat of this recording, question mark, then you will get rated 
after this and when I end this and well and again <clears throat> rain not working wait for the live recording on twitch you will get i will you will get redirected to someone who's currently streaming a, a little game or maybe something else be surprised and well for everyone else who's watching this recording or watch this on my youtube channel hope you have fun with either the listening to the other episodes or well the other stuff that i do on well youtube or uh, uh, social media <coughs> yeah anyway i wish you all a wonderful whatever is going on you know, time zone you're there man <laughs>